Hi, I'm Stan from Over the Hill Adventures, and today we are going to install the thin shade in our 2021 Grand Design Imagine 2500 RL. And we've got two doors, so we've already done one, so you tell me, does this look better or does this look better? And I'm going to give you three reasons on why you should have a thin shade, and we'll be right back. All right, let's start by opening the box and show you what's inside the box. And we're gonna put down in the description um, where we got it, and we, got, we did get it at Amazon. And at the time, they only had two left, um, so we went in and bought it. I don't know if that's if they restocked or not, but, but we'll put that in the description. Just make sure that you've got a good close-up of what it is. The thin shade, the window, and the tinted black, okay? Make sure you get this one from AP Products. All right, now, I've, I've seen a lot of people say that they, there's no instructions on it, um, on how to put it in. So, um, the, the instructions are a little vague, but, uh, we're gonna solve that by showing you that today. So this is basically the inside frame, all right? That's what that looks like. And it's going from the Leaper no screw frame to the screw frame. And I'm gonna show you the Leaper uh, no screw frame. And then you got the window and the outside frame. Now, as you'll notice, it has the, the sealant that seals it up the window also has sealant, but don't trust it. And I'm going to show you to make sure that that doesn't fall out, okay? But we're going to do this full install for you today. These are your quasi instructions on how to put them in. They're very vague, very difficult. You get your screws, and then you get your thin shade that goes in on your inside frame. And this is basically your shade, all right? And we'll show you how to put that all in. Now, I want to show you, um, basically, um, we're going to do this. Now, don't tell your wife, because you're going to have to sneak into her drawer and uh, get one of these little butter knives. Um, not just a butter knife, because this actually has a great little level part, so it doesn't um, scratch the inside. Now, but I, what I want to show you is what, what, our, what we are going, going to do to take off the unscrew um, the non-screw leapered frame. Because basically what's gonna happen is we're gonna put it in here like this. And it's gonna move these little eyelids apart and then you're gonna be able to take the frame off. Now, Leapert sells you these clips, 16 of them, and for $40. So I'm gonna show you a way how you can save $40. I don't want you to be afraid of this install. We've already installed one. And I did it with just another knife, but I found this in my wife's little um, silverware. And I thought, wow, <laughs> this is perfect. So, and then I'm going to show you another little trick how I keep the frame off. So you can continue to keep um, loosening them up as we go around. Um, so let's get started. All right, first thing you want to do. So there's no access. I use regular masking tape. You can take blue, put, blue tape or whatever you like. But I'm going to put this like this. And this is strong enough if you've got good masking tape to hold it in place. And notice that I'm going like this over the window so it doesn't pop the window out either, which you won't do. And this is just for a safety measure. They say this is a two-man job, but I did it by myself. Thank you to my wife, Rhonda, for filming. I may use her help later on because it just makes it actually easier when there's two people uh, doing it. All 
I'm going to try to do this as quickly as I possibly can so you guys can see what I, what I have to do. So I'm going to open up the door now. Hey, while I've got you here, you guys tell me in the comments, we're thinking about changing out our locks. Which one are the best locks that we should get? Um, mind you, I don't need the lock for security, but I'm aware of there being certain master keys out there. So, but you guys tell me what, what's the best lock to uh, interchange this with. Um, I know there's RV lock, I know there's uh, latchet, and there's another one also. But you guys tell me in the comments which one is the best one. And our reasoning for getting uh, probably one of these numer uh, number, number locks is so, because we have our dogs inside. And that if, and we wanna leave our number on the door so if in case of an emergency that uh, somebody uh, can contact us and open that door if they need to open that door. So that's our reasoning for it. Um, the prob probability of somebody trying to open this is very, very difficult. And that, that, that even this lock or another lock. And that's gonna be one of the reasons of why we're putting this window and I'll explain that to you later, later in this uh, video. But let's get back to work. All right, this is the screwless Leapert frame. And you gotta look, oh gosh, how are we gonna get that off? Well, let me get my little, little ladder here so I can get up there. And I'm gonna get my trusty little butter knife. Now, if you look, if you look underneath here and on the side, there are little areas here that are kind of open where they have put a clip. And you're just gonna slide that in there. Did you hear that? Did you hear that clip? See that? Now, that has just released the, um, and you might want to do another one too. There's another one right here. You hear that? But if you don't hold on to it in a way, what happens? It goes back to where it's old position again. So what I do is I took, <laughs> take these little wing nuts, um, these electrical wing nuts, and I use them as spacers and they work great. So I'm going to look for the next one. It seems like it's going to be right out. Where is it? Right here. You hear that? So you can see them? You can tell where you're going in? Yeah, you can see where they're at. And the, the main objective is to put your thing in there and so they'll release them. And then you'll hold it open and you put your little wing nut in there like that. And you keep going around. Just like a little opening up into the side. But you guys, do not... Do not spend the money on those clips. It's, they're not, not necessary. There's another one right here. Do you hear that? And I'll take another clip. And I hold that off. And there should be another one right down here. That one's not cooperating like I would like it to. For some, there we go. You know, and sometimes they'll drop, not a big deal. Just put your spacer back in there. I'm gonna to go to the top. Do you know how many clips there are, did you say? I believe there's 16. 16. 16. It's actually a pretty interesting design. Um, but you just keep on going around and there's going to be another one all of them are in the same position and you're going to see another one right about here hear that you keep on going around doing it evenly doesn't take a whole lot of force some people say just pry it off no that's not what you do you don't pry it off just break them. No, that's not what you do. This one's the one that's holding everything up right here. Boom. There you go. Boom.
and then you'll start start dropping your little spacers because they're going to start to fall out. Keep on going around. And you see how much looser they become until they basically just all come out. Now, wow. they're all out, and I did not break any one of these clips. So what I was doing is I was just coming in and pressing in like that and releasing it off of this little square. And this little square has like little jagged edges, okay? And that's what keeps it clipped in. So I didn't break anything. So technically, if I wanted to, if anyone wants to buy this, um, <laughs> let me know. If, you're, if you need an extra window and you want to replace the same thing, because um, basically no damage to, to that whatsoever. And as you can tell, no damage on the door whatsoever. It looks very, very nice. Now, the trick is now, is we've got to remove the door window. And mind you, that door window has some sealing on it. And so, we're going to take this tape off. Now, do you need my hands? What's that? Do you need my hands? Do you need help yet? No, no, absolutely oh. not. But what you have to do is you're going to have to push and kind of break the seal a little bit. And I don't like using anything because there's going to be a weak area. Basically, you just need to push it. We'll use the knife is a rather little soft part right here. We're gonna break that seal. See what I'm doing? So there's this silicone steel that goes around the entire window. You see that? All right, and so now I broke that seal and the window's ready to come out. I wanna be careful that I don't break this, all right? So I'm gonna come back up here and I'm gonna take the tape off now because I'm ready for it. And I am going to hold on to it like this and the whole thing comes off. All right, so if anybody wanted to reinstall this, you of course you would have to put some more silicone on it. But there you go. That was the removal of your lip Lippert screwless window frame. I don't want you guys to be afraid of this because this is not that hard to do. All right, I'm getting the excess silicone off. There you go, you're gonna see some, like some dirt here. So I have, the super clean, you got a super clean. One of, one of the reasons why I like using it, biodegradable, all right? It's really, really important. Just cleans it right up. The first time I did it, I was using Goo Gone. I don't like using chemicals. I would rather clean it with stuff that Biodegradable. And super clean. Degreaser. Super fast. Okay, I don't want any excess dirt from the old one on there at all. All right. I think we have prepared the surface for our install. So it's important. It's got its sealant right there. You want to check to make sure your sealant looks good, which it does here. All right. And then you want to make sure that your logo right here goes down and then you'll know it's the right, right way that you're supposed to go in. 
So I'm gonna put this baby right in there like this. It goes right in there and I press. So let me ask you, do you think I'm gonna trust that sealant to hold that in there? No, I'm not. So, just for an extra precaution, the reason why I'm using this masking tape because it doesn't leave any crap on your, you definitely don't want any accidents. And then we'll be buying a whole another setup. Try to move as quickly as I possibly can because I don't want this video to go longer and you guys getting mad and getting bored. So moving quick. All right, we, I told you I was going to tell you guys about three things. I'm going to tell you number one why we went with the thin shade. Because in the morning sun, because this is our bedroom here, the morning sun comes in and lights up our entire bedroom. And then I end up, what I end up doing then is putting a hanger of a, a jacket over the window and it it just was a pain when that sun starts coming in so that was one good reason the second reason is because it allows natural light to come in when you have the shade up. On this side of our 2500 RL, all we have is that little kitchen window. And now we have three windows. Understanding that the new 22 and the later model 21, 2500 RL has a, another window. But this just adds, and this gives you another window. So in this case, it makes sense just to go ahead and lean it up there so you have something. So it's actually leaning a little bit up against the awning, which is okay, but not too much. And the next thing we're gonna put in is the inside frame. Now you'll see that this has a thicker part than here. So unless, however you want it, I've seen some people that want to um, draw down and then up I don't like it that way. I would rather have it draw down and draw up, if that makes sense. So this, the thicker part needs to be good and then it conceals the, um, the thin shape. So now we're gonna put, install a thin shape. Now this was a little tricky for us, a little bit, only because they have clips here for where it's supposed to stay. Sometimes it likes popping out of those clips, so. So you gotta make sure that the ropes are lined up in its little divots like that. You know, open it up like that a little bit. And we're gonna pop it in. Did you see what just happened? So this is where it becomes a little bit of a circus act because you gotta hold on to this and hold on to that. And it's rather tight. But that's how, so that's how it's supposed to look just like that, okay? Now, let's see if I can do this without, without skipping a beat. Because I want to keep it in there. There you have it. Put in an anchor screw. Hopefully it's in the right position. Um, I have my Phillips screwdriver over there. If you can get that for me, please. <laughs> Party I have, pal. A, I have another. Hold I have on, another. we can retrieve it. Got it, got it.
I'm gonna make sure these babies are lined up. All right, that's lined up. I got two on the bottom. Feels right to me. Make sure, test that shade a little bit real quick. Make sure that's in there nice and flat, which it is. There we go. Now, on most things, I use my, my power screwdriver, but I'm not going to do that this time because these screws, I don't want to put too much pressure on these screws. All right, there you have it. I got four screws in. I'm gonna put the rest, rest of the screws in now. Tell me, was that was pretty easy, don't you guys think? Thank Rana for being here and helping me do all this. And Sweating it out with you here. Yeah, it's pretty hot. <laughs> but um, while I'm doing this, we're getting ready to uh, go to our uh, next trip. Uh, we're gonna be leaving in a couple of weeks and it's going to be pretty long trip, about five weeks. And we're going to go up to California to meet our new grandson. And then from there, we're gonna to go to Crater Lake, Mount Hood, Mount Rainier. And then from there, we're gonna to go to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, where we'll be staying at the oldest state park in the United States, which we're really super excited about. And then we go to St. Regis. What's the name of that bike trail that we're gonna ride? Hiawatha. Which used to be an old railroad and has been converted into a bike and walking trail. So we're excited to do that. How many miles is that? About 15 or I 30? thought, yeah, that was like 17 miles. So, and we're going to do the trail of the Coeur d'Alene's up in Coeur d'Alene, right? That's ride, right. Right up there. We're going to ride that. And then from there, from St. Regis, we'll head up to Great Glacier National Park, to Yellowstone, and then the Grand Tetons. And then from there, we'll head on home. In time for our next grandbaby to be born. Yep. And then we have our next grandbaby. So we're doing it right in between that. All right, you guys, that was the install. All right, I said I'd tell you about the third reason. Security is everything to me, as you well know. 27 years of law enforcement, security is everything. So the third reason why we put this in, so we don't have to open the door when somebody knocks on the door. That is the worst thing you can do, is open the door when you don't know who's on the other side of the door. When you're boondocking, where you're in a campsite, wherever you're at, it doesn't really matter. With this, you can open this up, take a look, and then open the door. Let me explain to you a little scenario. So, many, many years ago, I conducted a search warrant on a camper trailer door. These doors to break out is almost nearly impossible. With all the fancy tools and everything, it almost took us 45 minutes to get through this door. So as long as you're on, on the other side of the door, you're safe unless you open the door. So I would recommend, and this is just a recommendation, my opinion, I'm not a professional, but it's my recommendation that if you have a situation where you can put this thin shade or any other type of clear through window rather than the oblique window, it's a lot better. You may say, well, he could just break the window. Yeah, he can, but he's gonna have to climb through. And then he's gonna have to deal with what's on the other side of the door. So 
You guys tell me in the comments if that makes sense. I'm gonna take our tape off now. I think, Rhonda, that took about, what, 30 minutes? I don't know. Yeah. About 30 yeah, minutes? about 30 minutes. We're gonna cut it down a little bit, but. I love them. And just to see outside, you know, we heard noises one night, remember? And then there was. You couldn't see out, <laughs> couldn't see out this window. What's neat head. about it is these, all these windows now match. If you look down the trailer, they all match. All right, you guys, we completed our job. So you tell me, can you see me? I can definitely see you. And that's what it's all about. Until the next time.